video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can take a rectangle shape and use a pattern with that and use that in 3D so you can angle it in 3D. Now first thing to do just quickly go to the rectangle tool select the shape and I've got fill there. Right once you've done that I'm just going to add that there just as a very straightforward basic layer and then go to a layer and a layer style and I'm just going to add a pattern now I'm just going to make that down to about 10. So you've got the pattern design. Now these patterns here are 3D pattern designs. You can find them on the Graphic Extras website. But of course you can use any other pattern as well. It doesn't have to be cubes. It could be anything. All right, click OK. Now once you've actually done that, what you can do, just go to 3D and go to New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. And what you'll get is a cube, which is not particularly what you want, maybe, but uh, what you can do, of course, you can set that to zero. Just go over here to Extrusion Depth and the Properties. You can't see that, Window Properties. Now these are the ones, Layers and 3D are the key things there. So you can set that to zero. Now once it's 3D, obviously you can just then move it backwards and forwards, you can rotate it around. And you'll notice what? Fortunately, one thing you've got this light now. If you just go up here and you can move that around so you can make it darker and obviously light, so you can just sort of change it back to it's about there. That was the color of the layer. And of course, you go back to that one, select that again, and you can then move that around. See, sometimes it, you can get, get this weird sort of thing, it doesn't work particularly brilliantly at every angle, but it's certainly fair, right? That's okay. Now, what you can, of course, do you can add effects to that as well. So you can just go to a layer, layer style, and maybe drop shadow. So a quick drop shadow could be there. Now, you can also, of course, go to a layer and a duplicate layer. So click OK. Now, one thing that's weird is it loses, <laughs> suddenly for some weird reason, infinite light disappears. Don't know why it does, but it does seem to do that. Very odd feature. And now you can see you can move that one around as well. So. And you can, of course, repeat this numerous times. So you can build up quite a complex design of multiple different angled of the same, using the same pattern. Or, of course, create new layers with different patterns. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.